So it's been about an hour and we've just come back to Cloudflare and we reloaded the web page and we can now see that it's active, which is great news. It takes about an hour for that stuff to happen. Now we're gonna head back to WP Engine's dashboard. Make sure that everything's been updated there as well. Right now in the bottom under info, it says failed check. Let's just refresh this page, which is command R on a Mac, control R on a PC. And then we see now it says under info, it says proxied. Traffic is being served from this site. Your domain may be configured behind a proxy like Fastly or Cloudflare, and that's absolutely correct. So everything's working correctly now. So let's go to blogchampions.com and see how our website is. And sure enough, our website is up and running. So for the last part of this video, we just want to make sure that you can get into the WordPress dashboard, which is how you'll actually set up your website. We talk a lot about how to set up your site and customize it the way you want in later videos in this course. But for now, we just want to make sure that you can log in. So to do that with WP Engine, we need to go back into our email account because the way WP Engine works is that they email you your username and password. So we're using Gmail, gmail.com. So now we've logged back into our email account and we see we got an email from WP Engine that says, your WP Engine install is ready. Migrate your site now. Now WP Engine is set up to do site migrations. We're creating a new website, so just follow the same process. It's the same. You'll see where it says your new site has been created. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to password and then reset WP admin password. I'll click there. What we need to do first is enter our username or email address. I'll just enter our email address again because it's easy. And I'll tap get new password. Okay, so we've clicked reset password and a reset password link has been emailed to our email account. So I'm gonna go back to Gmail and follow the steps to set my password. I see that I got an email called password reset. Someone has requested a password reset, which is us. And it says to reset your password, pay attention to this link in the bottom, visit the following address. So I'm just gonna click on this link. So we click the link and it brought us to the WordPress admin reset password page. They suggest a strong password and we're gonna keep that password. I'm just gonna copy it so we don't lose it and I'll click the reset password button. Now our password has been reset, so we can now log in. I'm gonna click the login button. I'll enter my username and then the password. So the username, blog, winning. The password I'll paste in. I'm gonna say login. And we've made it into the WordPress dashboard. Now, like I said before, we're gonna talk about how this all works in future videos, so don't get intimidated, but we just wanted to make sure that you can get into your website and that everything is good to go.